We are nearly there. The world has never been closer to ending polio. Today, only three countries remain endemic. Pakistan, Afghanistan and Nigeria. Much is being done across the eastern Mediterranean region to finally eradicate the disease. Despite the sheer scale of challenges presented by protracted conflict, insecurity and natural disasters, polio immunization campaigns continue to be carried out successfully in Syria, Iraq, Yemen and Somalia. Pakistan and Afghanistan have never stopped transmission, but are close. As of September 2017, Pakistan had reported five cases of polio. A total of 20 cases were reported in the country in 2016. Afghanistan had recorded six cases as of September, whereas a total of 13 were reported in 2016. Through strong government commitment and resolve, and the establishment of emergency operation centers in both countries. Efforts have been redoubled to increase population immunity, with focus on reducing the number of children missed by vaccination teams. Vaccinators are at the heart of the eradication program, and community-based volunteers are helping to foster trust and ensure that more and more children are repeatedly vaccinated. The Islamic Advisory Group, formed by the WHO Regional Office, has played a major role in advocating for polio vaccination. Together with social mobilizers, the group is helping to increase awareness of the benefits of immunization and countering resistance to vaccination, leading to increased uptake. To complement on-the-ground efforts, the Regional Reference Laboratory for Polio Eradication in Islamabad tests around 30,000 stool samples from people with paralysis each year. More than 99% of stool samples come back negative for polio. But that tiny fraction of positive results tells WHO where the virus is. In addition, environmental surveillance is helping the program cast a wider net to root out the location of the polio virus. Both Pakistan and Afghanistan have made considerable advances towards stopping polio. However, there is still more to do, and the countries need the continued support of the international community to see the job done. Until polio transmission is stopped for good, all countries and partners must continue to work together to maintain high levels of vaccination coverage and remain on the lookout for the virus should it resurface. This has been a truly collaborative effort. Together, we will soon see a polio-free region and a polio-free world.